music has been a constant and treasured companion throughout her life. But her biggest passion is science. My name is Nicola Spalden and I'm a material scientist. What interests me most about material science is that we can design materials that combine multiple properties that at the moment tend not to coexist. The makeup of these trees, the structural integrity of a stone wall, or the transparency of glass. The materials all around us have extremely diverse properties. Nicola Spalding is working on the theoretical groundwork for a completely new kind of material. It should be magnetic and also respond to electrical fields, an enormous task for which she has laid the first scientific foundations. Our planet is a giant magnet. A compass needle orients itself along the lines of the Earth's magnetic field because the needle is ferromagnetic. Beside magnetic fields, physicists also worry about electrical fields and materials that react to these fields. They are ferroelectric. We have already very good electrical materials, such as metals or semiconductors, and also very good magnetic materials, such as iron. But what's interesting for us, and what's also very challenging, is to combine electrical and magnetic properties in a single material. Such a material, called multiferroic, is a chemical compound of metals and oxygen. From these molecules, new multifunctional materials can be crafted. This is the theory that Nicola Spalding has developed in her groundbreaking research. However, the problems of creating the actual material in the lab are many and varied. As soon as you start trying to make a ferroelectric magnetic, you tend to degrade its ferroelectric properties, so retaining good ferroelectric behavior while introducing the magnetism and then getting the two phenomena to interact. These are both challenging questions, which of course is what makes that fun to work on. A challenge worth taking on. Multiferroics could radically change the world of computer technology, storing information in both electrical and magnetic form. In the future, this could lead to extremely energy-efficient, tiny, super-fast data carriers. And once the remaining difficulties are resolved, these materials will have the potential to revolutionize the world of technology. Multiferroics, the silicon of tomorrow? Yeah, so um, the silicon of tomorrow, this is a, a really good question. Um, of course, many, um, there are many candidate materials that, that are being explored with new functionalities that might, I wouldn't say replace sil silicon, but enable new, be new behaviors and new device types. The production of multiferroics is still in its infancy. The starting materials are formed into rods and then placed in an oven. Through a controlled melting process, the researchers hope to create a compound that will react to magnetism and electrical fields. The molten ends fuse and continue to grow together. In this process, the atoms inside the specimen are rearranged, a prerequisite for a working multiferroic. Once it has cooled, the new compound can be tested as to whether or not it actually reacts to magnetic and electrical fields. Nicola Spaldin and her team use these practical results to further refine their theoretical framework. And it comes down really to the chemistry, the, the kinds of atoms, the kinds of chemical elements that, are, that have good electrical properties are different from those that have good magnetic properties. And so one has to either trick kind of electrical atoms into behaving magnetically or come up with a way of combining two types of atoms that wouldn't naturally coexist, or think about 
completely new mechanisms for electrical or magnetic behavior. Her research takes Nicola Spaulding into the innermost workings of our physical world, in particular electrons as charge carriers play a substantial role. The smallest building blocks of materials and their complex properties form a difficult route for Nicola Spaulding to negotiate a constant back and forth between theoretical assumptions and the actual effects of the laws of nature. In some ways it's so simple, we know very well how two electrons interact with each other, but then in other ways it's so hard. When we have many electrons, their collective behavior becomes so much richer, which we as a community, we don't well understand yet. So it's vital that scientists from various fields look at multiferroics from their perspectives and bring new ideas to the table. And when will this fundamental research leave the lab to play a part in the creation of all new devices for use in our everyday lives? This is hard to say. It could be five years, it could be ten years, or there could be something we have not anticipated that makes them um, never move into commercial production. Nicola Smaldin, her thirst for knowledge, pushes her ever onward in pursuit of a fascinating if uncertain goal. For me, the most fascinating breakthrough would be to find really the key to the behavior of electrons in a material, and then we would be able to design materials with whatever properties that we could imagine.